Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Today, I thought we'd do a little something a little different here with this crazy shaped bottle. Purity, we're at Purity Gin 34 times distilled, the heart 34 times. That means they take the distillate, there's heads and tails, right? You get the heads in the beginning and you get the tails at the end and then the middle is your heart of the distillate. They take that and they distill that 34 more times. So that's, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a gin that was distilled that many times, but on the bottle, um, like I said, it's pretty crazy. It looks like maybe a glacier or I don't know, ice cube. <laughs> Craft Nordic Old Tom Gin, which we're going to do an Old Tom tonight, which is also a little different. We haven't done an Old Tom, I don't think, since... Well, for some reason, there's fireworks going off right now. There's no celebration or nothing other than Sunday. I guess it's good enough, right? Craft Nordic Old Tom Organic Gin. A sweet, smooth spirit with bold flavors. The taste of juniper is complemented by the floral, herbaceous notes of basil, thyme, and botanicals. The finish... <laughs> Has a pleasant roundness thanks to the subtle aftertaste of lindenberries and blueberries. Now, is that one of the botanicals on here? I don't know. You would think when someone makes a gin, like they want to, you know, have their botanicals pronounced in, in their package. I, I don't understand. I have gins here like, like this one, right? Buckley's. And I can't find anything online about it, so... It's one of those gins I've been waiting for a response uh, from the owners or the the master distiller. There is one, <laughs> not just some guy in a basement taking a Everclear and you know putting lemons in it and juniper. It's slightly softer and sweeter. Juniper berries blend with basil and thyme for a floral bouquet on the palate and the finish. A slight touch of Nordic lindenberry and blueberries. That's the second time they mentioned that, so. And they still haven't mentioned what the botanical is, so let's... We're at 43%. I love that on this. Uh, the known botanicals are juniper, of course, coriander, lavender, cardamom, angelica root, basil, thyme, lindenberry, and European blueberry with organic sugar cane as their sweetener. All right. Well, at least they put the botanical list and, like, everything else on their website. <laughs> Unlike other people do. All right, well, let's open this bastard up. Ooh, I like it when it's an easy one like this. Thank you. Thank you, Purity. Now, Purity made, uh, they still do, they make vodka. That was their claim to fame from Sweden, and uh, they're up, they distilled it 34 times as well, which is, I'm guessing is what they did was they took the base spirit of their vodka and then they made gin into it, as most places do. All right. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh, see how big that is? It's heavy, too. That's how you know it's going to be a good pull. All right. I'm actually really excited to try this one. It's been a while since I did a, a gin, especially an old Tom gin on here. It's funny because when I first started doing this old Tom Jim's, you no one even knew what they were. Even people that own liquor stores, they had no idea. I had to school them in on it. And then I would, I would go to, <laughs> go to Nashville and buy the Heyman's old Tom because you know it's the only one you can get at that time, and bring it back to the town I was living in. And then I would give it to the liquor store people there so that they can try it. And they, and eventually they did. They started bringing it in. But now it seems to be pretty much everywhere, which is a good sign, I guess, right? Mmm, very clean on the nose. The juniper is, is, is there, but not so pronounced. Uh, you know, there's that, there is like a berry-ness to it, like a sweet berryness on the end of, of uh, the inhale. Mm. We're going to have to try this to see what it's all about. Ooh. Okay. Um very clean on the on the boozier end of it. Um there's a sweetness definitely to like an old Tom would have. It's not um overly sweet, it's not saccharine sweet, 
but it's there and it's it's expected and it's delightful. Um, the ling lindenberries and blueberry no, I definitely taste right away. I mean, uh, there is um, there's a few gins out there that taste like artificial raspberry razzleberry whatever the hell they want to call it it's not real but yeah this is not one of them this is actually one of the gins that that uses a berry as a botanical and not just a flavoring agent like later on like most of them do that i've tried um yeah this is nice this is really nice uh we're gonna have to do a uh, standard g and t so we're gonna add a little ice Beautiful purity, old Tom, 34 times distilled <laughs> gin from Sweden, and uh, I like to do an old Tom GNT the same as way, same way that I would do a, a London Dry or Contemporary or New Western or American or whatever else they want to say on the bottle. To me, if it's a base spirit. It's over 40%, and it contains juniper, gin. That's it. That's it. No other names are given. You don't need any other names. It doesn't matter. It's gin. Gin is gin. It's delicious. All right. All right. Uh, gotta love the effervescence. Essence, the love of the bubble. Let's try this before the citrus. Yeah. It's like, um, it's... Okay, if I'm going to base an Old Tom at anything, it's probably going to be Heyman's Old Tom, because that was the first one that I was familiar with. It was the one that kind of drew me in, and it's the one that I still hold in high regards, being an old Tom gin. Uh, so if I'm gonna compare this one to that one, the Heyman's definitely has an advantage. Um, I think I think what they did here is great. I'm not saying it's not. It's not the blueberry, the lindenberry thing. I think they're 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 banking on that a little too much on this gin, and and they shouldn't do that. You know, I mean, an old Tom to me. Is just a sweeter version of their London Dry. I mean, that's usually that's usually what goes to make a good old Tom Gin is to take their old uh, their their London Dry version and then sweeten it up and then add a little bit more botanical to it, maybe one or two, but not too many. I mean, see, here's the problem I have with this. This is not a cheap bottle of gin. Okay, this bottle here I think was about. Thirty-five dollars um, retail, and I, you know that's on the higher end of the spectrum here. And I'm not going to pay anything higher than thirty dollars for a bottle of gin. Um, so if I was a uh, stickler to this brand, and you know I, I you know had stock in the brand, maybe <laughs> I, uh, I would probably you know talk about it a little bit in higher regards, but. I don't like what they did with the price point on there, uh, and then it seems to me that you know when 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 a gin comes out or is new in in the market, and then what they do is you know they're trying to get in every niche that they can, you know, which is I mean it's just it, it's how it is it's how it is in business you know when business you're going to try to make a dollar no matter what I understand that, but gin liquor spirits older spirits i mean there's there's something to it you know there's history that needs to be respected anyway here's the cocktail version hmm well it's way better with the citrus but i'm sure you knew i was going to say that um i forgot to put a little orange bitters in there so my go to now uh for gnts are always a um, two ounce two ounces of gin to six ounces of fever tree or Schweppes if I, I don't have a fever tree Schweppes that I found is, is, is actually a really good tonic uh, compared um, a little Angus store orange bitters lemon lime grapefruit now it, it sounds like a lot and it is 
but I think those components right there will make any gin and tonic taste like you're in the tropics. Mm. Or on a beach. Especially if you're landlocked somewhere like in Middle Tennessee. Alright, well. Refreshing light sweeter taste with Nordic berries. And organic botanicals. Smooth and easy going, but still packed with flavor. Old Tom always works perfectly in cocktails. Sure he does. Uh, well, purity. Uh, I think you make a fine vodka. Uh, I think you make a good gin. It's not bad. I mean, it, it's... Like I said, it's clean. It has Old Tom sweetness to it. I do like the lindenberry and the blueberry. Uh, thing going on there. I do taste that in the background, which I, I like and I respect, but I don't like your price point. Actually, I hate your price point. I think you're taking advantage of people out there. I understand it's not cheap to make gin, okay? You're telling me. I mean, I distilled my own gin. Hey, Angie's here. I distilled my own gin in a, uh, a still that I built <laughs> that was no bigger than a toaster. And I made gin with it. So I know how much it takes to put into a bottle a bottle of gin. But you don't have to spend more than $30 to get a good bottle. Especially not here. In the States. Yes. Well, come here. Oh, come here. You want to say hi? Say hello. Look. Right there, see? <laughs> She's just freaking out. I never pick her up like that. No, I don't. All right, honey. All right, well, I had a good time. <laughs> if you see this gin out there and you see it for more than $30, don't pick it up. That's my recommendation. If you see this gin out there and you're as crazy as I am with gin, pick it up. You'll like it. You really will. Um, enjoy. Make some cocktails with it, though. I think, I think an old Tom goes really good with a bee's knees or traditional Tom Collins. I mean, that's where the name came from anywhere. You might as well pick up a bottle of old Tom and try it like that. And don't buy that mixer stuff in the store. God damn, don't buy that stuff. Just squeeze your own lemons and limes and add some simple syrup to it. That's all you need, okay? Well, this, this is kind of growing on me a little bit more, more with time. In an attempt to make it look like awards, but it's just their distillery logo. You know what else I don't like? This glass. I don't like a bottle like this. Look how stupid this is. It, this is niche right here. Don't do that. Don't cut the bottle and make it look like glass or, or uh, ice or something stupid like that. Just make a nice, elegant bottle. You can't go wrong with something simple like this. That's a 750, even though like, I don't know what the hell's in this. That's a nice gin bottle. All right. Well, I better have a few more calm down over this. Um, thanks for tuning in, watching, giving me a little feedback as I give it back to you. And uh, from me to you to you to me, and you know the rest, right? Have a good night, you bastards.